In this quick tutorial, we'll show you how to use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation to calculate the pH of a buffer solution composed of a weak base and its conjugate acid. The question reads, use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation to calculate the pH of a buffer solution that is 0.50 molars in NH3, that's our base, and 0.20 molar in NH4Cl. This is our conjugate acid. For ammonia, the pKb is equal to 4.75. We'll use that information later. Now what's not given in this question is the Kb, the acid dissociation constant, for NH3 is 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5. Now this number is very small relative to the initial concentrations given in the problem of 0.50 and 0.20. As a result, you can use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation to calculate the pH of this buffer and you don't have to take the equilibrium route to doing this. Therefore, the first thing that you have to do is calculate the pKa of NH4+, and this is done by using the pKb for NH3. So, we'll say that pKa plus pKb is equal to 14. We've been given pKb as 4.75, and that's equal to 14 plus what we're looking for. Bringing this term over to this side, mathematically we end up with 14 minus 4.75, and that's pKa. Using our calculator, that should give us 9.25. I'll just skip that. 9.25 pKa. Remember what pKa is? It is the pH at which 50% of the substance is ionized. Now what we'll do is use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation to calculate the pH. Remember the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, I should have written it down for you, but here it is. pH is equal to pKa plus log of the base concentration divided by the acid concentration. pKa, as shown right here, is 9.25 plus log of our base. Its concentration was 0.50 for NH3 over 0.20. Let's use our calculator. 9.25 plus log of 0.50 divided by 0.2 and we get a pH that is basic as 9.65. We round to two significant figures after the decimal place because this had two and the log of these two values divided should also have two digits after the decimal place, and that's why we result to two significant figures. And there you have it. That is how to use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation to calculate the following question.